Uh, my name is Kirk Huffman, and uh, I sing and play a bunch of different instruments and can't get no other than that. And my, oh yeah, my favorite color. My favorite color is I don't know, like maybe a nice like uh, green olive with like you know that that pitted red. I don't know, the combination of those two colors. Go ahead, Kyle. Go ahead, Kyle. My name's Kyle, and I play the keys. Okay, okay. Red. I'm Phil Philip Peterson, and uh, I play cello and vocals and other things on the record. Recording, help, help mastermind, the record. and uh, I'm definitely also a big fan of the Green Red Harmony. <laughs> so I, I like that. Any artist will tell you that, that there's something about that that contrast. That, well, and it's crisp yeah. too. For me, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. I'll season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're more, we're more an, an autumn green and red. Mm -hmm. I would say. Yes. Yeah. But in the summertime, it's different. Yeah, in the summertime, you know, can get a little more white, maybe. Yeah, the white. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, like Phil, like where do you see, uh, like, talking about big theaters? Um, like where do you where do you see KK moving towards as far as its future? Playing big huge events where people are dancing on giant ballrooms and chandeliers are swinging around and I don't know, ghosts. Yeah, we ghosts want it good. We want it to be something that you know, it's, it's it's not just going to see us play a show, it's going to see us play live. Like it's really supposed to be kind of an event, like it's it's supposed to be this, you know, for for the time that you're there, you're completely transported like somewhere else, and like you know, and uh, and so you know, so there's been a lot of times where like I've you know I've gone to see a band, and you know, it's might be the same with other people, but um, you know, maybe two years later, someone brings up that band, and you're like, oh yeah, wait, have I seen them live? And you can't really remember it, you know, but uh, but I know like like my wife when she saw the Flaming Lips, it was like. You know, she will talk about that forever because of what, what a great big event it was and, and how crazy everything was that was going on at the time. And it's like, you know, that's the, that's the type of thing that we want to give off. Like, this, you know, the music is so over the top and the ideas are so over the top. And it's like, it's all part of the same thing, too. You know, it had this really broad scope and this big idea rather than just being a band. You know, you know bands can fickle out, but it's like, if you're, an, if you're an idea, if you're an ideal, like, those things tend to stay in people's minds. Yeah, I like that. Like going, going to a different place, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like where, uh, like where, Kyle? Where do you go? Like when you're, when you're there, when you're playing the music, where oh. do you go? The whole other world. I, I think yeah. as we settle into it, I think it really is going to be a, yeah. a suspension of disbelief for us as well as for the, for the. Yeah, and that's how like the recording process with us has been. It's just been like when we've been looking back at this stuff, we just we still always have smiles on our face, and there's certain moments that always still hit us with this music. And like even though we've listened to it over and over and over again, yet now you know, with the you know the amount of songs that we have, you know it'll get to that point. It's a live show. You know I think once you know we're doing these when we're out on tour, we're doing these big theater shows and. Um, you know, when we, when all that is in, right in front of you, like the music is for us right now, you know, it'll be the same type of effect. We'll really be like, wow, this is, the, that idea that it was just kind of in the back of our brains, like all of a sudden it's like there, so it's kind of cool. It's happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. materializing yeah. and like, and, and the thing, like people are receiving it, you know? Yeah. It's fun to, you know, it's so cool to like go all the way back to like, you know, stuff that I was doing in junior high and high school to promote my band, you know, it was, you know, we, we've all had to do the same things now, like, make them, you know, make these demo CDs and just hand CDs to friends, yes. and yeah, and then we have, a, you know, like, the, with the cassette coming out junior stuff, it's like, that. yeah, it's, you know, like, we get to go back and actually, like, do all the things that were really cool about, like, being, you know, being 
DIY and like ha having an idea and like making it a reality. You know, it's like, like we, you know, Kyle, Kyle and I did the touring thing and Bill did the touring thing too. And it's like, you know, that's all fine at the end. But like actually going all the way back to the beginning of, you know, and, and, and having a brand new idea is so refreshing. And it's, it's really, really, it's been an awesome experience, you know, for all of us to go back to that point and, you know, see it evolve to, you know, the point that it is now, which is, very, very early in our development, so. But it's encouraging, mm -hmm. it feels like a great start. Oh yeah, yeah, totally, it really does. I mean, you know, the three of us work so well together, it's kind of odd how, you know, that, you know, how we all came together and how, you know, Tom yeah, came into Gatsby and everything, mm -hmm. kind of just this whole thing just kind of happened, you know, the timing, kind of, yeah, the timing of, you know, when, you know, Gatsby was done touring and then Phil being home and, and and just, you know, Kyle and I writing the music on the road, like, you know, it was, like, everything has kind of happened, and just, just, you know, there's something bigger than I, than I think we can all explain about what this thing is kind of developing into, and, and it's just kind of interesting to see how it keeps going, so. Yeah, like, um, for, like, all three of you guys have been all pitching on this one, like, um, tell me about the, like, the first time that you really played something together and, and it clicked. Like, tell me about your first experience when KK, like, the sound came out of you. Well, How right. you, like, where were you, you know? Well, really, like, I mean, it was just like, I mean, Kyle and I had a laptop and, you know, a little, you know, guitar pod and, and his keyboard, and we were just making these, like, crappy sounding, you know, everything was in MIDI and like everything was electronic because we only had these little things to work with on the road. But it was like the music, like there was, it was it was evident like after we had finished these little like one minute like snippets of what became our songs now that it was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like this, this has some charm. And Kyle had a bunch of these melodies and ideas, and he was giving me these these different chords and and you know, so it was you know there was like, well, we should do this when we get home. That would be kind of cool. Like you know. We should just do that. And it wasn't it wasn't any more than just like, yeah, we should just record some songs. And then we got Phil involved when we got home and started recording um, at the house of breaking glass with him. And I just remember like after we the first track we finished was Mama. I remember the, the first time we listened to it all the way through, Kyle hadn't it was he, either you and I hadn't heard Bobby's trumpet so long. Oh, yeah. And we came in and and either you or I was like, dude, you're gonna flip out. And then of course when we heard it, it was like, it was just like, we were just all laughing and we brought Big Thomas in, he came in and like an hour later, uh, the guy who plays guitar with us and, and he heard it and he was just like, he was just laughing and it was just like, he didn't, I mean, he really didn't know what to say, but it was just like, it was evident by when we were all looking at each other laughing and just had big smiles on the face that this was like something like, Wow, this is really crazy, and this you know really has a lot of potential. Like that's when it that's what it hit me the most. You know, was when finally the three of us, were, you know, we had one song done, and it was just like, whoa, this is like the first thing that's happened. Like, you know, what else? What else do we got to play? See, and then four songs rolled out real fast, and then since then we've got like six more. So and the recording process has been so fun because like the three of us will like sit there and like put down the bass of the song. We'll be like. Oh, we want a trumpet player to come in here, and then like you never know if they actually come in, lay down the track, and they're all like such amazing musicians that they just like blow our minds. Like, mm -hmm. and it's really awesome to work in, you know with Phil because you know there's definite like sounds and, and ideas that, that Kyle have taken in the songwriting, like that we've taken from all the music that we listen to, and and it's very easy to just explain to Phil exactly what we want and like you know exactly what our like. He's very awesome at pinpointing exactly because even when Kyle, Kyle and I have trouble like explaining ideas, it's like Phil just kind of automatically, instinctively knows what we're going for. And, and has a own idea. Yeah, and I mean, him arranging all the strings is just like, uh, I mean, that that does it for me, you know. So, yeah. I think for me, I, I think it, it obviously the recording process has been a blast and it's just been super fun. And, uh, but for me, when, when, when it really hit me, because it's all, there's always a, a rub when you make a good record, like, can you pull it off? 
So I think when it really hit me was when the three of us sat down and we were like, well, let's try to remember some stuff. And we're like, wow, okay, we can actually sell it as a three piece. Like the songs are there yeah. as a three piece. Channel, so we're guitar, like, we're going to be fine. Like we can assemble a rad band and we're going to be totally fine. Like the, the, as like a three piece kind of a thing with a huge band. Yeah, and going with us. Yeah, totally. Like going back, you know, it was just, you know, it's been just the three of us and bringing in friends here to do a spot here and do a spot here. And, but, uh, you know, it, I mean, I think everybody's first thought, the people who heard it, was just like, this is amazing. I mean, how, how are you going to, like, this, there's no way you can pull this off. This is so out there. And, and after we kind of sat down and started playing the songs, the three of us together, just the three of us, it was like, oh. Maybe this won't be so bad. Like maybe mm -hmm. we can handle this. And then, you know, pretty soon as we were mixing uh, songs with Tom Faffel, and he was getting us into these big venues to rehearse. You know, every week it was like, you know, the last week when we you know, rehearsed at the Moore Theater, you know, we had we had everybody there, and and it was just and we were playing the songs. And it was like when we were done with each song, I look at Kyle and we just kind of like, wow, <laughs> like yeah, this is this is fucking awesome. <laughs> like like this is really working out. So like. I mean, we haven't really known what to expect, or like, you know, we, we kind of come across some corners where we're like, uh, we don't really don't know what to do when we get to this point, but it's like, everything is eventually just, you know, something's happened where there's just, just this nice ebb and flow, and it just kind of happens and everything gets done, you know. Well, our first show was cool, too. Yeah, yeah and the first really, really show that we played was just a really small acoustic night, and and uh, I, think, I think a lot of people were really, Surprise! That was, I mean, that was one thing. Like with with Gatsby, it was like we we were always we're very all ages shows and and you know bring a lot of kids out and stuff and and you know I'm not I don't really know quite yet how those kids who are used to Kyle and I being that big big rock band that was so crazy on stage and just like was really you know powerful um, as a big loud rock band you know how they're going to adapt to to what we're doing now. I mean, so far it's been really positive. Like, been amazingly positive but uh but yeah but that's one thing that but as far yeah as far as like fan reaction like when you're cha almost changing like a genre yeah you know and it's like i mean the, the you know i mean kyle and i you know i think learned a lot from from being in that band as far as like i mean i mean as far as everything about being in a band is concerned but i think one of the things that we really really picked up on was uh was how to write good songs you know and like you know, when, when Bobby was writing songs in Gatsby, it was like, you know, I, I remember just being like, wow, like, you know, this is really cool. And so those, you know, those ideas that Gatsby had are still on this KK stuff, but by far, like, this is just so, it's such a, you know, it's such a bigger idea. And, you know, like, my, you know, my dad really likes it. Like, old people are going to like KK. You know, it's, it's, it's not a target of us. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not. A, you Gatsby know, was. Gatsby was kind of a, a you know, we just kind of got. You know, schlepped in with all these other bands, and like, you know, um, it was kind of a we became kind of this target thing. Um, but this is so much, you know, such a broad thing, and, and you know, it's, it, it's very distinct, and people from all over are really gonna, you know, flip out. It's, you know, it's the whole idea of KK is just this common man, and, and that's this music that just people in general really find something really special about it, and it's definitely something, you know, it sounds dumb, but. You know, they can relate to, but I think it's more than that. I think it's like, an, like emotionally, like something they can feel. Yeah, like it's it's more, <clears throat> it's definitely you know something, you know, really for, you know, floors them when they when they hear it more so than just being like, oh, I can identify with what this guy's saying. Like I'm sure a lot of people can't identify with most of what you know I'm saying on the record because I say a lot of weird stuff. But like, you know, there are little hints with the way the emotion and, and the music and you know. The different feels and grooves and everything that's going on, the way that they flow together, really brings out something that's you know, way more than just. You know. Anything else you guys go. want to say, or you guys good? Let's go play some things. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>